How's it going, Don? Thanks for doing this today. Uh, just kind of the standard question. Is everybody good to go for the game tomorrow night? Everybody's good to go. Had a good week. Good week of practice. And also, with that week of practice, was there one overarching need that you wanted to address? And if so, how, how was the progress toward that? Um, I mean, um, obviously, special emphasis on just valuing each possession and trying to, you know, put it put to the forefront, um, just taking care of the basketball. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's it's a process. And, I, you know, we have to kind of explain to our team, like, like who we are. I told them who we are. We are a, a turnover, a team that turns the ball over a lot. We're a team that defends a, a great deal. We're a team that rebounds a great deal. Um, so although there's good and bad, I think that that's who we are. So unless we're able to take the initiative to change, um, and taking care, better care of the ball, we we can, you know, we can, you know, we can not be in um, as many tight games that we're in. I think is a direct relation to us turning the basketball over. Augusta, and then Matt. Hey, Don, just kind of following up on that with the week that y'all have had, you know, just kind of focus on yourselves with with where it is in the schedule right now before the stretch of, of Vanderbilt and UConn and, and Florida. I just wanted to ask, you know, how much how valuable was that time to be able to reflect, you know, and and really take the time to focus on the team? And do you feel like you you made the most of, of this week as, as a team? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not often. I don't, I don't think we've ever had a stretch where we were off like eight games. I mean, eight days. Um, but you know, obviously when you're off for, for eight days, there's something on the other side of that eight days. That's going to, that's going to push you a little bit. And, and that's what we have. Um, but we did, we, we worked, uh, Tuesday through Thursday on us, just us and us getting better, us playing faster, us being able to convert and transition us valuing the basketball. Um, so I, I'm hoping that we'll see a, a change in that in that aspect. Um, but, uh, you know, if we don't, we'll have to continue to defend better. We have to continue to re rebound like we do and, 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 and work on late game situations because that's what it's come down to. Matt and then Griffin. Don, going off of that, um, so much has been emphasis on the mental side of the game. How good has this eight-day break been good for your players' minds and just getting a little bit of a break from the stress of, of the grind of SEC play? Uh, I mean, anytime that I think rest is equally as important as, as getting out there and grinding it out. And when you're able to rest and decompress a little bit, um, it helps your, your, your mental state. We didn't have to prepare for a game. Um, and, you know, we, we – Although we try to simulate things in practice like it's a game, but there's there's nothing like getting yourself up to mentally prep and prepare for for a game. And we didn't we didn't have that, so um, obviously we could we could just concentrate on us. Um, and then our players probably caught up on some Netflix series. Ozark just came out, so they probably did that. Um, and that that does the mind and body good when you're able to decompress in that way. So I'm sure the long break has allowed you to reflect a little bit on what's been going on this season. And earlier in the month, Aaliyah Boston, Destiny Henderson, and Zaya Cook were all placed on like a mid-season watch list for the Wooden Award. So I just wanted to ask them, what have their contributions meant to your team so far and to you throughout the season and also heading into tomorrow's game against Vandy? Uh, I, I really don't. I, I want all the individual awards for our players, um, but – those individual awards are really out of our control. Um, so if we put too much emphasis on, on that, uh, we lose sight of the big picture. And that is for us to, uh, one, check off all of our goals and then winning the SEC regular season championship, going into the tournament, going into the NCAA tournament. That's, that's where our focus is. Not so much talking about it every day, but our focus is there. Um, we've been in those situations where we've been in those, those watch lists and uh, more times than not, they've been more disappointing than anything. So we, we want to control what we can control. And then I think going into the Vandy game where our mindset is, is back in competitive mode, back in the, 
um, being the, the hunted and us going out there and, and just striving to get better every time we step on the floor. Mike and then Corey. Don, midway through January in SEC play and then, you know, obviously the, the difficult gauntlet of a schedule you guys had from a non-conference standpoint. What have you begun to learn about this group that maybe going into the season you maybe had a little bit of questions? And, um, you know, what would you say where they're at right now in terms of where you envision them being at this point? Um, I, I did not envision us turning the ball over the way that we're turning the ball over. And there, there's a difference between, you know, there's good turnovers and bad turnovers. Our turnovers have been bad in that they, they lead to points, you know, points off of our turnovers. Um, I projected us being a pretty darn good rebounding team. I projected us, um, I actually projected us to play a little more fast and convert. We play fast, but we don't convert as much in transition. So um, that is, you know, a, a work in progress. Um, I pictured us being a, a pretty good defensive team and a resilient team and all those, you know, all those, the, the, the competitiveness, the, the drive to win, um, the, the ability to win in different ways, depending on how we're playing, um, you know, but all in all, I, you know, this is, this is my team. This is the team I love coaching. This is the team that I love the challenges that it, it poses for us and trying to figure out ways to get better. Um, and, you know, through good play, bad play, ugly play, um, we, we sit here, I guess, I think we're 18 and one, 17 and one. I mean, lost one game. I mean, we, we, we sit pretty good. I mean, I, I mean, that's without the ranking because yeah, we don't, you know, do we like being the number one team in the country? We absolutely do. Do we feel like we're, we're in a pressure situation because of it? No. And I, I like that about our team because they just come out wanting to win, knowing that we got the targets on our back and we're the hunted and people give maximum effort, maximum effort, you know, even close games are, 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 celebrated by 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 some of our opponents so that's what you're dealt with and you know we're, we're embracing where we are and who we are as a program and it looks like Corey will have the last question Don I wanted to um, ask you about uh, just using your players using their platform not only on the court but also off the court uh, and particularly maybe there's folks in the stands or watching at home that's just kind of peeking in on them and seeing what they're doing. Uh, just how, how proud are you, are, you, are you of the ladies in the program of being able to just, just use their platform for good and also uh, affect someone, whether it's one person or multiple people during a game or off the court uh, in, in a positive way? Um, I mean, here's the thing. I, I, think, I think everybody, I, thought, I think you're alluding to the, the, the Zoe um, situation, but – that's who we've been. I mean, that, there, there's nothing different. It's just, it just got caught on, on camera um, and then it got blasted on uh, social media. So people, and, and I'm not saying it's just South Carolina. I, when I speak on this, I speak on women's basketball, um, being that to young people, young, young ladies, young, young boys, um, senior citizens, um, middle age. I mean, we, we are a sport that, that represents just that to people. And the reaction that we got, we, we get every time that we take the, you know, you know we take the, uh, the victory or defeat lap around Colonial Life Arena, we get those kind of reactions all the time. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I love who our players are. I love what they represent. I love what, what, what parenting, um, they 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 come from, and I think people are seeing a small glimpse of their impact. And I'm you know I'm happy that I get to coach um, the young ladies that I coach and the ones that are impacting on the basketball court, off the basketball court, and and in their daily lives. And one more question from David. Don, did you host the Ozarks watch party over at your house, or did you want to watch something else? You know, I, I, I actually uh, was watching uh, uh, Vandy, UConn, in Florida. 
you know, o Ozark's going to have to be another break in the schedule, which right now is uh, February the 6th because, you know, we, you know, we played that Mississippi State game. So maybe, maybe a little reprieve then. 